Hello everyone, Trick was the name, and I want to talk about the Demon Slayer movie. So I just watched the Demon Slayer movie, and I watched it twice. I watched it in sub and dub. Love the movie. The game, the freaking movie was actually really good. Like no wonder it broke box office. I actually really, really enjoyed it. This is a reaction for the movie I just watched. Now I did watch the movie. Um, then I did a stream, so there's a little bit of time afterwards, but I did want to think about it a little bit more after like watching it, and now I think I have a really good understanding of like what I want to talk about, and mostly is that I want to talk about a lot of the great things about it, and a couple of cons I want to talk to you guys about. The first thing I want to talk about is all the good things that happened to it, like, oh my god, the movie looks so good, like, so good, definitely, oh my god, so like, <laughs> like, I was watching, when I was first watching it, and it was showing all the studios that was working on it, and I was kind of like, okay, uh, the studio's working on this studio, and they showed a lot of them, so I was kind of like, okay, let's move on, move on. And it shows a picture, well, Forrest, and it looked really realistic, so I was kind of like, okay, this is another studio that they're working on. And no, it was not a new studio, this was actually the beginning of the movie, and the m actual shot of the forest wasn't actually a real forest. I thought it was a real forest, but it was actually like a drawing, or I don't know how they do the animation, but they made it look almost like a real freaking forest, and it looked so good, and then the water effects, the train, oh my god, just everything on it was so good, the CGI was really good, it had like a creepy scene, I don't want to go into any of the spoilers for it, but it had like a lot of creepy scenes, that have like beautiful scenes, the fighting scenes was so good like the fighting was like top tier like if you watch Demon Slayer which I'm guessing when you're watching this uh, video you probably have some understanding of Demon Slayer um, if you watch the ending where he did the fire dancing they do that like multiple times style like in throughout the movie like think of that one part in that one uh, like episode in the anime but it stretched out for like two to three hours and like they did an amazing job with the way it looks it did start off a little slow for me you know, putting some like humor and some other things and like introduce the fire, um, like swordsman and he was kind of weird and wonky. But after that, it just ramped it up to 11 and just no whole bods of like really good story, really good character development. Like, it, like I was thinking like if someone just walked into this, not even knowing what this is, would they actually understand? I feel like in the beginning they were probably kind of confused, but I feel like people would get super ham on like just enjoying it, even if they don't know much of the story. Like this would be a really good one if someone wants to like watch Demon Slayer, like the first couple of seasons. But they don't know like if they will like it or not. Like if they watch this movie, they'll definitely get right into it. And this is great for all the fans who love Demon Slayer. And this is a really good bridge to the next upcoming seasons for Demon Slayer, which I'm super excited about. Um, so I can gush about it all I want, but I just wanted to mention that like this is so good. Definitely enjoy it. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. I will say definitely watch it in sub. Now I don't only care about the argument of like what's better sub or dub like i watch a lot of my things subbed just because there is no dub for it or like the sub comes out first i want to watch it first but if i could watch a dub i usually do like prefer to watch a dub just because i can actually like understand what they're saying and still watch the visuals so i do like dub but i don't mind watching sub it's totally fine but in this case i definitely say that you should watch it in sub and this actually could be because the theater I was at, but the theater I was at, the sound, like the music and the sound effects was so loud. It was crazy loud. I was with my brother at the time and he had to wear freaking ear like plugs in his ears just to watch it because it was so loud. Like I, I've been in marching band and like I've had loud music playing throughout my life so it doesn't really bother me too much. But it was so loud that I couldn't understand what they were saying. They were speaking while all this stuff was going on and I couldn't understand what they were saying. I felt really bad because I really wanted to hear what they were saying. They were like explaining what it was going on, like all the cool moves and stuff like that. And I couldn't hear it because it was dubbed. And I feel like this was definitely designed to be more of like a sub kind of thing. And that might be the reason why it wasn't that great in dub. Because it was designed to like have this loud music play and then you read what's going on on the bottom and you'd be able to stand it. But like definitely, at least I couldn't understand it and it kind of threw me out of the movie a little bit. I watched it in sub and I was able to understand everything. But like I first watched it in dubbed. And, oh my god, like I was really disappointed that I couldn't understand what they were saying. So if I could make a recommendation, I would watch it in sub. 
um, if you could, like, it doesn't really go too much out of it, and, like, when it's super loud, you wouldn't be able to understand the dub anyway, so you might just be irritated. But I don't know, again, that could be just be the theater I was in, maybe it was just the translation, I don't know how the theaters do this stuff, maybe they just had that part really high up, but I know, to me, I would definitely recommend watching it in sub. Um, the only thing I also want to talk about is that I actually wa read the manga. So I actually have the manga right here. I actually have the train arc. So it goes into like the beginning of the train arc, or like, to the end of the train arc. And like they definitely uh, capitalized it really well. Like, one thing I will say about the manga, the manga is great and all. Like I love manga. I actually been getting into manga a lot more often now. Especially whenever anime stops. Whenever anime stops and we don't hear about another season coming out, I usually dip into the manga. And it's actually really cool and keeps me really excited for a lot of things going on. Um, but usually the manga is better than the anime and there's a lot of reasons why. In this case, I feel with Demon Slayers, I feel like the anime is so much better than the manga. Mostly because they just pull off the... Um, breathtaking like animation for that and it just looks so good what they do and they still calculate a lot of stuff from the manga into the anime and they usually do a really good job for that but like when i was reading the manga it didn't seem like there was a lot of stuff that was um in it like i was reading it and like it didn't seem like that crazy things like the fire samurai guy he didn't seem that interesting to me until i watched the movie and the movie actually got me like like I got, it got really touchy. Like I, there was some touchy moments on that freaking movie that really brought me to tears. It was like four moments. You'll definitely know when you see it, but definitely really amazing anime. And I definitely won't recommend watching the movie. Manga, definitely read it if you want to, but I feel like like the anime, is just, the movie is just so much better. It does those three volumes like way better than I ever dreamed of. Um, I think it's actually with just seven and eight that covers the arc and then the ninth is a trouble the next season which is why I haven't really read it because I'm waiting for the next season to come out but um like oh my god they did a really good job with it I will definitely say that um there was one aspect that was in the manga where he was explaining the fire breathing and like I thought they would increment that but they didn't really touch on it like Again, don't want to spoil too much, but if you can, watch um, the movie and then we'll read the manga because they do explain a little bit more of the flame breathing and how it's not really flame breathing. It's like they made the joke that you can't really breathe in fire, which is actually really funny. While in the movie, they didn't really talk about that. So there is some elements that I would definitely recommend checking out the manga for so you guys understand what's more deeper into it. But in this case, it's just like with the regular anime. The movie does the manga so much better. Like the movie is so so good. Can't can't deny it. it's actually really good. The only thing I really had an issue with was just the sound that I was dealing with the dub. But then I watched the sub and everything was perfectly fine. Nothing else was really that bad. Um, I was kind of hoping that it would continue after. Uh, there's gonna be a couple of fights that happened at the end of the fight I thought they were going to go to like a mansion where someone lives and I thought they were gonna go to that But they didn't so again watch the manga I don't know if the anime is gonna go into that when they start up, but definitely check it out So like again read the uh, watch the movie first watch the movie watch and sub I prefer but if you want to watch in dub go for it it's a great movie you can watch it twice and then after that, read the manga. It's actually really good. Um, that movie actually got me into tears. Like, I didn't actually ball up crying because I was with other people in the movie theater. I didn't want to, like, look like that. But, like, they actually, like, like, it got me really teary. Like, one of the aspects to it was, like, a really touchy scene that happened with the fire samurai. And he was talking to his mom. And his mom was telling him that, like, do you know why you were born better than anyone else? And, like, the... The kid didn't know what he was t what to say, so he just said, I had no idea. The mom goes, like, the reason why you're born better than anyone else is because you're supposed to use that greatness you have to help the weak and help others. You do not use your gifts to hurt people or take advantage of them. You use those to help people. And the message they have in that movie so good. I can't wait until I'm able to take that clip and spread that in the world because that clip alone, that small clip that the mom was talking about, needs to be seen by everyone, especially nowadays. But I feel like, like, this is why I love anime so much better than like anything that like the West can make. I know it's a way weeby thing to say, but I just love 
freaking thing the anime does because the lessons they teach in anime, like a majority of all anime, is usually like, hey, get stronger, get better, and you can do things. But in the Western universe and <laughs> the Western market, it's pretty much like you're racist <laughs> for liking anything. I shouldn't be saying this, but I just feel like the Western like media is really like want to hurt you and want to make you feel bad for being anything doesn't matter who you are it just makes you really feel bad while in like anime and like a lot of japanese culture it is it's all about like improving yourself and getting better and like contributing to the community and i just like that's why i feel like that little clip should be seen in the western market a lot more because it's a great message it's a, so great message and like i hope other people like agree with me that anime just has a lot better messages than like anything like the west has really made unfortunately but Again, I just wanted to do this little small little rant, a little reaction to the movie. The movie was freaking amazing. Can't gush about it anymore. Um, still watching sub if you can, just because I just feel like the sound's gonna be a lot better because that's the only like gripe I had with it. But still try and go out and support that. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you guys agree with it, if you guys found out that like the sub was just as loud as the dub. <laughs> could understand it i would definitely like to know because i don't know if it was like the theater i was in the why the dub was like so loud i don't know like i would like to know if you actually experienced that so let me know in the comments below and just let me know if you guys agree with me that like just anime like themes and like messages they come up with is just way better than like anything like the west here in the united states have come up with. and if i'm wrong then let me know i would definitely appreciate checking it out but yeah until then i hope you guys all have yourself a nice day and yeah Boy.